Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do my favourites. This is not a monthly favourite because I haven't done them every single month. I did do that a couple months ago, but I sort of stopped. So this is going to be a favourites video for the quarter. I figured the last three months, four months, what have I actually liked? Normally what I do is five skincare items, five makeup items. So I'm going to do that today. If that interests you, just keep on watching. Hopefully I can give you some insight on some products that you haven't used before. And yeah, I'm just going to get straight in. So I'll start with makeup items. The first one that I want to talk about is actually a new item for me. Well, relatively new, I would say, in the last month I've been using it. And it's the BH Cosmetics Belgium Waffle. This is obviously not a new product at all, but it's new to me. And it's the face palette. So basically it's got highlighters down at the bottom and then it's got uh, two bronzers and then obviously this is sort of like a setting uh, powder, right? And I really like this actually. I wasn't so sure about it at first. It's taken me a little bit of time just to warm up to it and I'm not entirely sure that this one is actually the right shade for me. It's a little bit too dark. This bronzer actually is pretty decent. This one's called Batter. And as far as the highlights, I've used powdered sugar. I've tried to use this one, which is maple. This one, that's interesting as well. I don't think I've tried syrup yet. And the buttermilk I have used is just like a under eye like setting. Um, it is a little bit satiny, so there's a little bit of shimmer, but I actually quite like that, don't mind it. Um, the other setting powder that I have is sort of matte. It's, from, it's the Rimmel Matte one. So I like the fact that this one is more satin and has a little bit more shine because I, I do like to have a little bit more shine on my skin. Um, yeah, I actually really like this. It's the only face palette that I have because I've always just bought stuff separately. But I just, I love the packaging and I wanted to try BH Cosmetics and I thought, why not? Let me try it. And it actually has grown on me. As I said, I didn't enjoy it at first. I thought it was mm, okay, but actually I do find myself reaching for it quite a lot. In the last month, I do reach for it quite a bit more than any other bronzer that I have just to do the bronzer. And I have been neglecting my Project Pan bronze because of it. So that's sort of an indicator for me at least that I must be enjoying it. Next one I have on here is a Milani blush. This is a new product as well. I actually bought this at the same time as I got the Belgium Waffle palette. This is in the shade, what shade is this? Petal Primavera. So there are so many different blushes that I could have got on uh, Beauty Bay. I got this in a haul that I did not long ago. I actually really like it. I have it on today. I think it's a really lovely, just rosy, blush which I prefer. I either like coral blushes or rosy pinky tints and I think it, it is a little bit shiny as well and satiny so for me that works perfectly and I really really enjoy it and I like it. So that is one that I've been reaching for more so than the other two blushes that I actually have in my project pan and also my partners in cream project. So this is kind of the reason why I haven't been working on those as much because I find it really easy to work with and also it's it's nicely pigmented it's not too much but it's not too little so I don't have to build it up too much it's just you know I just do it and, and I think it's enough for me the next item I want to talk about which I think I've mentioned in some previous videos but it is an official favorite of mine for you know this you know the last few months and it is the revolution palette this is the chilled sativa palette so it is this lovely green gold nude tone palette and color story and I really really love it um you can see I mean I don't know if you can see but I've I use this one a lot I use this one a lot I've dipped into this one quite a bit this one is my um one of the colors in my pan those eyeshadows I really like and I also have dipped into haze quite a bit the rest of the green ones, apart from Candyland, I really like Candyland, the rest of the green ones I haven't actually played around with that much. I really want to and I intend to, but some of these gold tints and the new tones in this palette are really, really lovely. And I think this is highly underrated actually. It is so affordable and I just think the quality of it, yeah, it is Makeup Revolution, but I think the quality of it is actually really decent. and. These shimmers are beautiful and they really do compare to some other shimmers that I have that are far more pricey. So I actually really like this palette. When I first got it, I loved it. I asked for it and I got it for Christmas and I'm not disappointed in it. I absolutely love it. And I like the packaging. I like the tin packaging. I think some people don't like this type of packaging, but I actually 
quite prefer it and you can also bend it obviously it comes with a mirror but you can bend it and I just think it's sort of practical and I like that the next item I want to talk about is one of my favorites this is the elf hydrating camo concealer now everybody on YouTube has talked about this and I spent a long time debating whether I should try it or not because I had the original camo 16 hour concealer and I just felt like it was too thick it was too strong it was too matte it was just too much for me and everybody said this is the best one but if you've got slightly oily greasy skin then you might not like this but actually I've got oily combination skin and I love this and I think it's really easy to blend with it's really really nice it's lightening brightening I like it it covers what it needs to cover and it's also not drying which the elf camo 16 hour concealer is so drying which is what everyone said and obviously I purchased it and I didn't like read any reviews I had it before I even started like doing any YouTube or beauty things like that so yeah I had it and I and I used it up and I debated whether I should try this one but it's so nice and also that I don't nobody's really talked about this or at least I haven't seen anyone talk about this but it has a smell and I don't really know what that is like it has a distinct scent to it and I'm not sure what it is but none of my other concealers smell like it it's not unpleasant it's just oh okay um that's just one thing I have to say about it I don't know if I like the scent or I don't like the scent I'm kind of in between but I thought I'd mention that but it is a really really lovely coverage and I would say it's still pretty matte but it is hydrating it doesn't dry down like the other one does so if you haven't tried it I would recommend trying it because I feel like everybody is right when they say it's a good one okay next one is actually another eyeshadow palette this is the BH cosmetic chilling in Chicago I got this free when I purchased a bunch of BH cosmetics from Beauty Bay and I'm not disappointed I really like this it is more of a neutral gold bronzy type palette it is not very colorful you do have some lighter yellow tone yellowy gold tones up here and then you do have some more orange like this is an orange nice lovely orange tone and then you've got some browns and I really like it I think this is beautiful I actually have it on today and I was so surprised I didn't realize it's going to be more of a goldy um, yellow palette I thought it'd be more of a neutral palette which it is but there is you know there is a little bit more depth to it and this shimmer here is lovely. This shimmer here, I actually have it in my inner corner. It's really beautiful. This one's called Millennium. And I actually, just to let you know what I have, I've got teal here. Is that teal? What is this? Oh no, this is the L. <laughs> I don't know why I thought this was teal. This is called the L. And I have that like in, in my crease. And then I also used this one, which is Wrigleyville. Uh, just to deepen it up and I also use sky deck to make it a little bit darker just around here and then I topped it off with the shimmer so the shimmers that I used actually was 312 I used that one on my lid and then as I said in the corner I used millennium and I really really like it I haven't actually touched uh, the pink tones that did you have a couple of pink tones I haven't touched those yet these shimmers are really beautiful and I've just been really enjoying it I actually was hoping that it would be picked in my pan as I should have but it wasn't but I'm still dipping into it so I'm really thankful that I got it and um yeah I'm definitely pr probably going to pick up another BH Cosmetics palette soon because this was not one of the ones that I had on my wish list although when I saw that I could get it free, I was absolutely like adamant I wanted to try it out and test it out. And I'm so happy with the formula. I'm so happy with the pigment. So I imagine all the other palettes that I have been eyeing up are going to be just as good. So I think this is a really good starting palette for me for this brand. And also just like the face palette that I got. I'm really, really excited about BH Cosmetics. I also got one of their brushes and I really like that. So yeah, it, it, it's soon becoming one of my like I, w I don't want to say it's my favorite brand by any means, but it's it's getting up there because I'm, I'm like, oh, this is actually pretty good and it's affordable as well. All right, moving on to skincare. So with skincare, I have been doing a Shop My Stash. So if you've been watching some of that, then you will recognize some of these items. But basically I try to swap out products every month or like every month and a half. I'm trying to do it every month. And um, yeah, some items I really, really have loved. And so this again is out of the last three months, which items have I really loved using and which that I would definitely recommend to everyone. So I've got five items here. And uh, the first one I'm gonna start with is the Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. This is amazing. So I got this for Christmas from my mother and I had 
tried the Elemis toner previously, I have it still, and it's really nice, but other than that, I haven't tried anything else from Elemis, it's always been one of those brands that I wanted to try skincare from, but it is quite pricey and not the most affordable, so when you're purchasing something, you know, you're taking a gamble whether it's going to be good or not, um, but thankfully I got this, and this is, yeah, this is just a, a sort of a mask, that you, cream mask that you put on, and it is so wonderful it is the best mask i've ever tried it's uh, a nourishing prebiotic green mask and what it has is it's got avocado in it and it's also got broccoli seed oil which at first i thought it was going to smell really really badly but it doesn't i'll just show you what it looks like so it looks like that so it's really 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 pale green it's like hardly green it's more of a cream base green and um it doesn't smell bad at all it does not smell bad so thankfully this is great and most importantly when you put it on and afterwards your skin feels absolutely amazing and soft and refreshed and I've never used another mask that actually has left my skin feeling the way that this leaves my skin feeling so I would highly recommend this. I haven't used too much of it because it's, you know, when I find a product that I really like, I actually get a little bit scared and I don't want to use it up. So <laughs> I put it away and I've been using some other face masks, but I highly, highly recommend if you can get your hands on this, try it. I also want to try more of their superfood uh, range because they've got a whole range and I'm really curious and interested to test them out if they're going to be as good as this. But yeah, absolutely love it. Highly, highly recommend it. Next up, I got another mask. It is an eye mask though, and it's from Mud Masky. So it's for dark circles, puffy eyes, fine wrinkles, dry skin, and swelling. So I've got dry skin and fine lines, um, and I just feel like I need more hydration under my eyes, especially you know with wearing makeup and after taking makeup off. It's really nice to put this on. Now, what's interesting is it actually says that it's going to smell bad on the packaging, so they warn you. It does smell a little bit funky, I'm not going to lie, but it's nothing what I thought it would be when I read that at first. It's not that bad, and you leave it on for eight minutes, and it actually works a treat. It's really good. So I tested this out quite a bit. Um, I don't, I think I have about half left, maybe about around here, um, and then the rest is just air. So I'm not really sure how much I've actually used, but I did try it out maybe eight times, something like that, and I've still got a really good amount left. This is, I don't know if this is a sample, this is a 30 ml. I don't think this is a sample, I think this is just the full product. But really, really highly recommend this. I thought it was great. I did see a difference in my under eyes as well after using it so if you're having issues with under eyes and it says swelling as well so if you've got puffy eyes and swelling that might actually help with your bags next up I've got an elf product this is the all the fields facial oil this is from their sativa uh, range the cannabis sativa and hemp derived range and it's really good so I got the whole range and I've tried everything from the range. I actually have two products in my favorites from the range that I really enjoy this is one of them this is really great facial oil and one of the reasons why I put it in my favorites is because it is affordable. So there are so many different facial oils out there from many many skincare brands and they work great. Don't get me wrong and I don't know if this one's going to be as good or better. However, because of the price, it actually is one of my favorites because you get a good amount of product. I use this regularly the last month and you can hardly see that I've used anything but I literally I have um, because you don't need to use a lot and it's so nourishing and it makes your skin feel so fresh and hydrated and just oh, the next day I put it on in the evening the next day you know in the morning it feels nice there's not there's no dryness or anything and it's not too oily um, yes, it's an oil, but some oils I feel like are just a little bit too oily. This one is not too oily, so I absolutely love it. I don't know if it's got a smell. Let me just have a look. It doesn't have any scent or anything like that. I have to double check in the ingredients. You can't see the ingredients on the packaging here. If it has perfume, because obviously I know perfume is... Um, an irritant for many people. For me, it doesn't bother me, but actually I feel like this is all natural. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think it has perfume and I just love it. I don't know what it is about it, but I re highly recommend using it. It's a really nice experience as well. And yeah, I like it. So next up is the Happy Hydration Cream from e.l.f., which is also from the Hemp 
uh, cannabis uh, sativa range that I spoke about. This one I've used and I probably have maybe half of it left and I really, really like it. So it's just a hydrating cream. I would use it in the morning, sometimes use it at night, but mostly in the daytime. And it's really, really nice. It's not too thick. Some day creams are so thick that it takes a long time for them to sink into the skin. This one doesn't, but this one is also not too thin. So some are too thick, some are too thin. This one's right there in the middle. It's absolutely perfect consistency and it feels really good. It makes skin look great. And I don't think there's really anything else that you want from a day cream. So highly, highly recommend this one as well. I actually recommend just looking at the range. I also got their primer. The primer I'm not that sold on from the Sativa range. I, it is more, it's a cream primer and I don't think I like cream primers. I, I think I'm figuring out that I'm not a cream primer girl, but it's okay. And if you like cream primers, it might be for you. But these two products from the range are really, really good. So highly, highly recommend. And then last but not least, this is the Organic Creamy Face Scrub from Skin Fed in Black Seed. And yeah, this is really, really good. This is a lovely exfoliating cream and it is soothing. It cleanses the face really well. It's not too gritty. So let me just show you like what it looks like. It's like, it's really thick consistency. You can see that. And you can see the little black seeds in there. It's almost like a face mask, but you just put it on and then you wash it off. And honestly, the face feels great. So I've used exfoliating creams before, obviously, and some of them are just way too gritty and you can feel the beads or whatever minerals that they put in there. This one is soft. So they got the black seed, but it actually, it feels soft. It feels like you're putting something really natural and it's something that your skin really, really enjoys. So. I just feel like I'm feeding my skin with this product and I really, really love it. Um, I had it in my shop, my stash, and I sort of st stopped using it because I didn't want to get through it too much. But yeah, I absolutely love this. It says it unclogs pores, gets rid of dry cells, replenishes moisture instantly for healthy and glowing skin. And I 100% agree with that. I used it for about a couple months and yeah, it was very, very good and I really, really like it. So that's all my favorites for the last three months. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe if you would like to. Hopefully, I will see you again soon. I'll try to do these a little bit more often. But honestly, like, I think January and February time, I just wasn't in the mood to do a favorites video. <laughs> but then now, I feel like I've had time. I've had some new products come into my life. I've realized what I like, what I don't like. And I feel, thought that this was the perfect time to sort of just discuss some items that I'm really enjoying and I will continue to enjoy for the next few months. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful for anyone watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe and I will see you again next time. Bye.